of the best from District 6 in Divisions 1 through 4 are gathering tonight here at Norwalk High School for the District 6 All-Star Showcase. Live and free for you right here on the OH Report. If you're over with me, my name is Hayden Gray. We're going to be checking out Division 2, taking on Division 3, and this game is coming your way. Live and free next to your phone, PC, tablet, TV, anywhere that you can find internet, you can find this match, and it's coming your way next. Live and free right here on the OH Report. Where does greatness start? Here, in the classroom. On the diamond. In the pool. On the field. Where will your greatness take you? To better grades. To more friends. Yeah! Be great. Participate! <laughs> Congratulations and good luck at State Lady Eagles. The whole community is rooting for you. Bring home the hardware. Big congratulations to Maddie Daniel for being chosen District 6 Player of the Year. Also a first team All-Ohio selection. Another shout out to Lily White, a first team District 6 and third team All-Ohio pick. Maddie Clark, a second team District 6 selection and Abby Poss, third team All District 6. Huge congratulations to all of you, Lady Eagles. Monroeville Athletic Boosters are sponsoring Tea and Rich Dueling Pianos at Rock and Horse Ranch in Sandusky, Ohio on November 19th. All tickets must be purchased before the event. No tickets will be available at the door. Find us on Facebook for more information on this event. Welcome back into Norwalk High School. Hayden Gray here with you on the call this evening from Norwalk as the Division II and Division III Senior All-Stars from District 6 get ready to take the court one last time in a bit of friendly competition and very intriguing it will be to see some of these teams paired up here together. Great game that we are anticipating here tonight in Division One and Division Four game going on just to my left on the other side. If you want to check out any of the action from that game throughout the course of the night, just go on over a little bit down on our Facebook feed and you'll be able to check out Travis Berardi tuning in to that one. But we got an exciting match that's going to be happening tonight for you. Just getting ready to kick things off. Marley Albert will be serving first as we are underway here from Norwalk. Looks like it'll be into the net. And Division Two will get on the board first. Albert getting ready to send the serve over again. 
Serves it bumped up. Ritz Hoff from Colonel Crawford just hits that one a little bit short. Going to be into the net. It's going to be a 2 nothing early lead. And so how we're going to break things down tonight, folks, we're going to have three sets of volleyball being played all to 25 points. And that will just be what it is. It's going to be a true showcase of talent. Three sets to 25 points no matter what. As Division Three picks up another early, excuse me, Division Two picks up another early point. But just a three-set little tune-up here. I guess I shouldn't say tune-up. These are all seniors last time on the court. But just getting ready to pursue winter sports or continue their academics as they near their college career. So a great gathering of phenomenal talent that we'll take closer looks at tonight as Riley Ritzhoff gets a big point and gets Division Three on the board. Reagan Ritzhoff will send over the serve. Blocked at the net by the two from Huron. Great dig there. Set up and just dinked over. As Mackenzie Hale from here on has Division Three on the board again. That one into the net as Division Two will pick up another point. That one rattles around the net again. Division two spans their lead up to five. But again, folks, want to thank you for tuning in and joining us here tonight to catch this all-star action. Going to be taking a look at a lot of different player spotlights tonight to showcase exactly who's participating here and who did some noticeable things for their team around the state this year. As a good rally taking place right now, sent over by Trice from Colonel Crawford, who tried to get the dig there, but Division Two just able to find the right spots on the court right now, as you see on our instant replay, brought to you tonight by the Copper Irons, also our scoreboard sponsor tonight. We'll take a deep dive into thanking our sponsors in a little bit, check out what they have to offer in the area. Sent over by Emma Steiger from Division Three. Division Three team coached by Kathleen Davis of Galleon, assistant coached by Taylor Hybe of Colonel Crawford. As a monster serve delivered there, Albert able to keep the play alive. Opportunity here for D3, but that's gonna get set back over. But Jess, Holes Apple from here on gets a big point as this one's back to a 6-4 match. And Jess will be one of those that we'll take a look at here in just a moment. The District 6 Player of the Year in Division Three, Great year for her and the Huron Tigers. As she shows off exactly right there, as she's able to keep another one in, Holes Apple. Take a look at our Copper Irons instant replay. Now, it's hard to see tonight, folks, using those faint lines that you saw there on the court as the boundaries. Not too often you uh, are playing horizontally on the court of play, but these girls certainly experienced and able to adjust to that tonight as Division Two picks up a point there on the miss hit. But let's dive in and let's take a look, as I mentioned, at Holes Apple. Once we get a break in the action, show you a little bit of what she did throughout the year as her squad picks up a point. As I mentioned, outside hitter for the Huron Lady Tigers, District 6 Division 3 Player of the Year, D3 Second Team All Ohio, and her stats this year 255 kills, 285 digs, and an undefeated season in the SBC Bay Division. What a phenomenal year it was for her. 
And certainly those efforts recognized here tonight. As the Division Three All-Stars tie things back up at seven apiece. Emma Scott will step back to serve. Another phenomenal player, as all of them here are tonight. But a great year she had for Colonel Crawford. That one going to be blocked, but it's going to be out. Division Two picks up another point. And while we have a moment, let's dive in after this serve, and we'll show you the starting lineups for both squads here tonight. Do a quick run through of those as Bassalone sends it over. The libero from Lexington. And a big strike there from Holes Apple. Notches this one back up at eight. Just had too much power on that one. And that could be interesting tonight, folks. Might see the ball take a shot over into the other court, but do our best to play on as Ella Payne steps back to serve. Phenomenal year she had for those Lady Tigers out of Galleon. Gets the dig there. Ritzhop sends it over. Kept alive by Albert. And a huge credit on the effort there on the block, but going to sail out of bounds. So D3 fights back, gets their first lead of the night. And let's take a look at who's playing for these Division Three All-Stars tonight. Jess holds Apple from here on. Riley Ritzhoff, Colonel Crawford, Ella Payne Galleon, Kylie Leibarker from Margareta, Emma Scott from Colonel Crawford, Mackenzie Hale from here on, Reagan Ritzhoff from Colonel Crawford, Libby Weisberger from Western Reserve. Cassie Hammonds from Willard, Reese McGuire from Winford, Cy Savonsack from Willard, Emma Steiger from Winford, and Allie Trice of Colonel Crawford, again coached by Kathleen Davis of the Galleon Tigers. As Ritzhop sends it over on a little dink, going to pick up another point. Division three All-Stars up to an 11-9 lead. Once we have another moment, we'll take a look at the full lineup for those D2 All-Stars here this evening. Serve sent over from Trite. Ritzhoff sends it over. Gets enough juice on it. And expands the D3 lead to 12-9. As Trice will get to serve again. Bassalone keeps the play alive. Nice back set. Little bit too much sauce on that one. Not going to be able to stay in. Liked the play there, though. Just a little bit too much sauce that time. Mackenzie Martinez from Port Clinton. Excuse me, Cameron Kaufman from Perkins stepping back to serve. Does a nice job of receiving the strike from Ritzhoff. The Colonel Crawford connection Carries over into All-Star season. No breaks for these ladies. As you saw right there. Connection from Emma Scott and Ritzhoff. Saw that all year long, putting a fear into the opponent's eyes. As Ritzhoff's going to block it down. It's 14-10. play at the net there. Let's dive in and let's show you those D2 starters that are in attendance, the roster here this evening. Maddie Stout, player of the year from Vermillion. Gracie Starkovich from Vermillion. Kaylee Felder from Bellevue. Marley Albert from Shelby. Emma Manley from Perkins. Aliyah Wharton from Port Clinton. Cameron Kaufman from Perkins. Maddie Bassalone from Lexington, K. 
Caitlin Callahan from Vermilion, Claire Turner from Bellevue, Rachel Kocher from Lexington, and Mackenzie Martinez from Port Clinton, again coached by Kara Kaufman from the Vermilion Lady Sailors. And so far, big turnaround here for the D3 team. Went down early, but they've really gelled. You can really see that despite an all-star game, a lot of these girls come out here, do their thing, play their game. And that's equated to an 18-10 lead here so far as you take a look on our the Copper Irons instant replay. To make this one 18-10. Cassie Hammonds of Willard sent that serve over. Shoots it back over towards that back line right now, set up by Albert. Albert to Stout. Great connection there. Closes the gap back down to 11 to 18. Marley will step back to serve. Phenomenal year from the Shelby Senior. One of those best all-around players that we have in our area, as you see right there on the serve. No chance there to try and gather that one up. Let's take a look at that one one more time. Great angle here to see how quick that one dropped and curved. Marley showing off why she's one of the most elusive players Richland County had to offer in the last four years. But D3 back on the board. They'll regain control. Chance for Holes Apple, but just falls too short as Division II earns the point there. And let's take a little bit of a closer look at Marley Albert, the Shelby senior. District 6 D2 first team finisher. Senior season stats, 290 kills, 21 aces, 7 blocks, and 241 digs. 1,063 career kills for Albert. Just showing why she's one of those that can do it all and certainly someone those Shelby Lady Whippets will miss. But I'm sure she did a nice job of helping those lower classmen get ready and her impact will surely be around for years to come. Play kept alive. That one high in the air. A little bit too strong. As Gracie Starkovic from Vermilion tried to get that one to stay in play. A little bit difficult here tonight with the unique atmosphere you're playing in. Just with the other match going on and different boundary lines that aren't exactly the most visible. But I know a huge thank you to Norwalk High School for accommodating and hosting this event. Pretty awesome thing to have in our area. Great turnout here tonight. Side of the bleachers that is below us out of the camera shot is absolutely full. Rafters back here with us are pretty full as well as Holes Apple. Able to get that one to go down. But a great turnout, great event here tonight. All-stars from all around District 6 across all four divisions. As Savon Sachs serve just sails out, keeping D2 in the match at the time being. As Claire Turner of Bellevue steps back to serve. Kept alive by Ritzhoff. Sent over and just placed nicely. That was Emma Steiger out of Winford. Gets up on that one and just drops it in the middle where no one was. It's 22-15. Serve sent over. And a miss hit. Nice serve there from Emma Scott of Colonel Crawford. Chance now to pick up another ace. Play kept alive, though, sent back over, set up by Ritz Hopped. Now Albert sets it over. For Gracie Starkovic, and they do connect. 
And that's one of those best things about these kind of atmospheres in all-star games, folks, is getting to see the best of the best collide and be teammates. Even if it's just for a couple sets, pretty awesome thing to see and witness the amount of talent that we have in this area. This holds Apple. Got a hold of that one, but Albert kept it alive. Takes another strike, kept alive on the back line from Rachel Kocher of Lexington. And that one from Holes Apple will stay in. Nice call there by the line judge and the officials. And it's set point now for those D3 All-Stars. As Payne sets it over, looks for an ace to finish off set one, and she'll get it. As that will wrap up set one. We'll take a quick break. Be right back for all the action coming your way next in set number two. Keep it right here on the OH Report, locked in and loaded. We'll see you here for set two. Participate. Where does greatness start? Here, in the classroom. On the diamond. In the pool. On the field. Where will your greatness take you? To better grades. To more friends. Yeah! Be great. Participate! <laughs> Congratulations and good luck at State, Lady Eagles. The whole community is rooting for you. Bring home the hardware. Big congratulations to Maddie Daniel for being chosen District 6 Player of the Year. Also, a first team All-Ohio selection. Another shout out to Lily White, a first team District 6 and third team All-Ohio pick. Maddie Clark, a second team District 6 selection. And Abby Poss, third team All District 6. Huge congratulations to all of you, Lady Eagles. Monroeville Athletic Boosters are sponsoring T and Rich Dueling Pianos at Rock and Horse Ranch in Sandusky, Ohio on November 19th. All tickets must be purchased before the event. No tickets will be available at the door. Find us on Facebook for more information on this event. Welcome back to Norwalk, Ohio. Hayden Gray kicking it here with you for the District 6 Division 2 and 3 All-Star match. Set 2 underway. And it will be Division 2 picking up the first point. Division 3 All-Stars did take set 1, though. So D2 looking to at least walk away with one set win on the night but they'll have a chance if it doesn't happen here in the next one that one just set up too high for Ritzhop as division two picks up another point but want to take this moment right now to say hello to all of you um having a few technical difficulties here tonight uh with the youtube end of things so if you are anyone watching on facebook and have a friend family member relative or, or know anyone that is trying to find the match let them know live and free with no difficulty on Facebook, just a few things with the school's Wi-Fi that aren't too happy with YouTube. But we're here, we're kicking it on Facebook, and we're having a good time. It's Ritzhop having a good time on that one. Take one more look on the Copper Irons instant replay. Got a hold of it and just dropped it right between Stout and Albert. Has a chance to do it again. Albert does a nice job of keeping the play alive. That one sent up Stout. Nice job getting it right back towards the middle of the net. 
as Claire Turner of Bellevue able to finish it off. And I, I believe they may have said no point on the previous one for Division Three All-Stars. Nonetheless, they get it right back there. No need for me to correct the scoreboard now. But want to say hello again. Um, so if you know if anyone's having issues finding this, the match, let them know we're right here on Facebook. And since we are, drop me a comment, hang out with me. I'm used to you know having my partner in crime, Travis Barardi, with me on the call. But as I mentioned earlier, he's over doing the Division One and Division Four match that is also going on right now live and free on our Facebook page. So if you get tired of my voice or just want to get a little bit of taste of both. Uh, switch over to Travis's stream and check out what's going on in the D1, D4 matchup. And they are actually intermixed, so it's a combo on both sides. Um, this is straight up D2 versus D3, but a lot of fun going on here in Norwalk. Let me know where you're watching from. Drop me a comment. Interact. It's a perfect time for me to get to spend more time checking out your comments, seeing where you're watching from. So if you've got a loved one, a, uh, you know, a teammate, a child, a grandchild, a friend, anyone competing tonight, let me know who you're watching for, and I'll give you a shout-out. And give that player a shout-out, too. we still got some more player spotlights we'll be taking a look at here this evening. Albert sets it up. Big block at the net. Now Ritzhoff sends it up, but it's going to be sent out of bounds as Division Two jumps out to a 6-2 lead. Serve on that one a little bit too strong. Back to 6-3, but while we have a moment, let's take a look at exactly what happened in Division Two this year. And the teams that have a presence here at the match tonight, the records from Division Two, Vermillion, what a year for them. Went 22-4, Bellevue 13-10. Shelby won 11-12, Perkins 13-9, Port and Clinton 13-11, and, and Lexington 19-6. Lexington and Vermillion obviously met up there during the postseason, but good stuff over on the D2 side. Let's check out the records that we saw in Division Three from the teams that have an attendee here tonight. Huron went 22 and three. Colonel Crawford 19 and five. Galleon 23 and three. Margareta 12 and 11. Western Reserve 18 and six. Willard 16 and eight. And Winford, 9 and 14. So, again, a phenomenal load of talent with the teams that we have here in our area. Just wanted to make sure I gave the chance to show off the damage they were able to do this year record wise in conference and around the area. A little bit premature on the serve, but Savon Sack will step back again and get another shot here at this one. Great year for her. Incredible basketball player as well for those Willard Lady Flashes as she gets ready for the campaign this season. And let's take a closer look at Cy and see just exactly what she was able to do this year in her senior season. Savon Sack, as I said, the libero for the Willard Lady Flashes. District 6, Division 3, third team district semifinalist with those Willard Lady Flashes. Her 2022 season stats. Two, or excuse me, 331 digs, 43 assists, and 652 serve receptions. She finished the year with 1,000 career digs in their tournament match and finished second as a team in the SBC Bay Division. So awesome for Cy grabbing those, that 1,000 career dig mark in the tournament match. Pretty legendary stuff there. Know that had to feel good for her and the crew. Great volleyball being played though here tonight as that one just set over a little bit too far. Holes Apple not able to corral it in. Try to get a hit on it, and that one would have stayed. It did stay left of the antenna, but 
nonetheless, Albert will serve here for the D2 All-Stars after a brief substitution up to a 9-7 lead. Short hit sent over. Albert sets it up high. That one just sails out a bit too strong. Would have been a nice connection again from Starkovic and Albert. Try to keep it down that line, but you see just a little bit left as Ella Payne sends it over on the serve. Blocked and out. Check out and see if anyone's dropped a comment. Not yet. Don't be scared. Drop a comment. Let me know who you're watching for, where you're watching from, as Ritzhoff gets another big point there. And Riley and Reagan's dad actually reaching out, letting us know about this match, and obviously wanting to get his daughters and the rest of the girls from Colonel Crawford some good coverage. And I know he's someone that's going to be watching out there tonight, so shout out to him. We'll thank him later in our sponsors tonight. But if you've got a child competing tonight and you're not here in person watching the match, let me know who you're rooting on. Would love to give them a special shout out. Strike sends over to serve. Bobbled around a little bit from Barcelona, but D2. Walks away with the point. Oh, we have a down moment. We'll take a little bit closer look at Division Two overall team spotlight. So all team records of anyone on the roster for the D2 All-Stars tonight have been combined. And as a unit, they would have been 91 and 52 with a combined win percentage of 57.1. As I mentioned, coached tonight by Vermillion's Kara Kaufman. And just some noteworthy things is the Lady Lex and Vermillion getting a team up. You saw them duke it out live and free on the OH report in the tournament. They do also have the Division II District 6 Player of the Year and Maddie Stout on the lineup. And they are also assistant coached by Janelle Wyant of Lexington. So that is your Division II team spotlight as we return to the action. D3 going on a bit of a tear here in the last few moments. That one just a bit of miscommunication, which obviously you expect to happen in one of these matches. A lot of girls combined it who aren't used to playing with one another, but like I said, got to give a huge shout out tonight to the gel that these girls have had together. Uh, just showing you how destructive they'd be if they were a regular team on a regular basis. And it's not like they don't know each other at all. Nowadays, we talk a lot about it a lot with soccer. You know, um, club volleyball, obviously very popular around the state, around the country, um, and around the world. So a lot of these girls probably have the opportunity sometimes to play with one another on the same team or, or see each other during travel and, and club volleyball season as well. Is that one blot down at the net from Mackenzie Hale from here on? Reese McGuire for Winford will step back to serve. Delivers a beauty low line drive, but kept alive. Boomeranged around a little bit. Finds its way over to the D3 side where Hale is waiting. Sent over just a little bit too short, though, from Emma Steiger of Winford. As we're getting closer to a tie match, excuse me, tie set yet again. Emma Manley from Perkins on the serve. We'll take a closer look at her season here in just a moment. Tries to keep it alive there. It's just going to fall down. But as I said, let's take a little bit of a look real quick. At Manly.
Emma Manley, an outside hitter for Perkins Lady Pirates this season. Division II honorable mention, all Ohio. 2022 season stats, 285 kills, 224 digs, 323 serve receives, 47 blocks, and 31 aces. She finished District 6 Division II first team honors. Just take one good look at those numbers, folks. Those are not exaggerated. What an all-around player Emma has been this season as you take a closer look at her there. And that's another great opportunity here tonight. A lot of teams that we don't get to always cover throughout the season just with how busy we are on the OH report. But a lot of athletes that we hear about and know in the back of our heads are having fun on one a year. So a great chance to kind of have a great night to see everyone here in one place. As Bassalone serve just falls short into the net. Almost too many accolades here amongst these girls here tonight and recognizable awards. Almost not enough time in three sets for me to mention it. So I'm going to try my best, folks, to keep things going. Want to describe the action, but also want to just give a huge spotlight to what all these players were able to do this season. So a little bit of confusion there. Point goes to D3, though. They lead 18-16. Now make that 19-16. And shout out, I didn't see. If you see all the way over there in the top left corner, we do have the old school gym class scoreboards. Kind of was curious about how they were going to do that here this evening, keeping score with two matches going on in one gym. But we do have scorekeepers down there. So that just saved my sanity a little bit. That one gets sent over from Rachel Kocher. But Ritzhoff, you've heard about her all night. Reagan got a hold of that one as Division Three leads 2016. Low line drive serve, kept alive by Barcelona, then set up by Albert. Holes Apple gets a hold of it. Coacher sends it down. Now we've got some great volleyball going on. Holes Apple, Division Three, District Six Player of the Year. But that one sent over nicely. And I believe that was yes. Rachel Kocher of Lexington put a lot of speed and power on that one. Division two, Albert will set back to serve. Set up for Ritzhop who puts a number on it. Albert keeps it alive. Manly, and it's sent back over. Holzapple somehow makes a circus play there. But I believe will be called With into the net. Is it 2018? And an ace. Take a look at our Copper Irons. Instant replay. Marley Albert picks up another ace doing what she does. Has been doing it all year long. Devon Sack sets it up for Ritzhoff. Who's got to get it over but just sails a bit too high. Back to 2019. Let's see, we do have some comments coming in. I'm going to start reading those off here after this point. So we're notched back up at 20. I see... Carissa Thomas watching from Fredericktown, Ohio. I don't have anyone playing. I just like to watch. Well, thank you for tuning in, Carissa. It means a lot. We appreciate you being here. Lisa Scott Hoover. Shout out to my niece, Emma Scott, and her teammates, Riley and Reagan Ritzhop. Thanks for joining, Lisa. Appreciate you tuning in tonight. Your niece and her teammates are wonderfully talented players. Been a privilege to be able to watch them here tonight.
Sean Ritzhoff. There's my guy, Sean. Fun watching all the Colonel Crawford girls. Thank you, Sean, and thank you for your sponsorship tonight. Be sure if you see Sean around, anyone in North Robinson, give him a thank you. We appreciate him stepping up to the plate, letting us know about this one, and hopping on for a sponsorship here this evening as well. Lori Rombach says, go Hannah Miller. Thanks for watching, Lori. And Kimberly Rastelli says, go Rachel Kotcher. Lex number 17. Thanks for watching, Kimberly. Appreciate everyone tuning in tonight. Got a great one going on here in set two. Drop me a comment. Let me know what's been your favorite part of the season. Even if you're someone that just has appreciated watching volleyball in the area, let me know. Uh, what you think were some of the more notable storylines or favorite moments or memories you have from this year's regular season. I know I've got almost too many probably to even bring up, but if you have one, let me know. I'd love to hear it as Division Two ties things back up. 22 apiece here in set two. As I mentioned at the beginning of the broadcast, if you're just now tuning in, playing three sets here tonight to 25, and that's going to be it. Not going to be an official winner declared. But all for the sake of showcasing the immense talent that we have in the building tonight. As Cameron Kaufman from Perkins steps back to serve. But Ritzhoff, again, there she is. Ties things back up at 23 all. Cassie Hammonds from Willard sends it over. Albert sets it up. Blot sent back over and then unable to be returned. Set point for Division Three. Reminder, they were winners of set number one, looking to take the first two. Great effort to keep it alive almost into the stands. Ella Payne sends it over. Great rally going on. Ritzhoff with the ding, kept alive. Albert sets it up. Starkovitz sends it over. Albert sets it up again. Starkovic looking to get the point. Just going to push things over a bit. But Ritzhoff finishes it off. Sets it perfectly. And they'll take set two of the D3 All-Stars. Coming up next is the third set. Excuse the end of set two, or end of set three. It's just the end of set two. The District 6 Division II All-Stars, winners of the first two. D3 looking to get one win before the night's over. Keep it right here. You're watching High School Volleyball live and free only on the OH Report. Congratulations and good luck at State, Lady Eagles. The whole community is rooting for you. Bring home the hardware. Big congratulations to Maddie Daniel for being chosen District 6 Player of the Year. Also, a first team All-Ohio selection. Another shout out to Lily White, a first team District 6 and third team All-Ohio pick. Maddie Clark, a second team District 6 selection. And Abby Poss, third team All-District 6. Huge congratulations to all of you, Lady Eagles.
Time for the third set, final set of the night here in Norwalk for the District 6, Division 2 and Division 3 All-Star Game. Hayden Gray, been keeping it with you here on Facebook, doing a little bit of play-by-play, -play, a little bit of almost a storytelling about some of the girls and their seasons this year. But it's been a pleasure to be kicking it with you tonight. If you ever have any inquiries about anything or sponsorships, my email's up all on the screen as well, Hayden at OH.Report. Let me know if there's any stories that you ever feel need to be shared or sponsorships you're interested in pursuing as we start off set three. And while we do, would love to take a chance to thank our sponsors that bring this to you live and free tonight. The Copper Irons, the best value axe throwing located in Bucyrus. Book your reservation online today at thecopperirons.com. Huge shout out to them. Uh, awesome to see their first event sponsored here on the OH Report. So a huge, huge, huge thank you goes out to the Copper Irons. Glad to have you as a sponsor. Um, so if you go over, go check out some axe throwing. I've done that a couple times. Not the best at it, but have never been to the Copper Irons. So if I'm ever around you, Cyrus, I'll check it out. You should as well as Division Two off to a 3-0 start here. As you see on our Copper Irons instant replay, Albert to deliver the serve. See if they can keep this early lead off to a hot start, and they will not be able to. As D3 picks up their first point here in set three. Another sponsor tonight, though, Agent Sean Ritzhop from Edward Jones and Edward Jones Financial Advisors serving Bucyrus, Ohio. Get the personal financial advice you need to achieve your goals with Sean Ritzhop. Thank you, Sean for being a sponsor on tonight's broadcast. Much appre appreciated as always. It's because of the wonderful businesses and business people in this area that we're able to bring you this action live and free as always. And then our final sponsor part of the broadcast is this evening is the Monroeville Athletic Boosters. Our commercial sponsor here tonight. Huge shout out to them, all the supports that they've shown all season long, supporting our coverage of the Monroe, Monroeville Lady Eagles in the tremendous season that they had this year. State runner ups in Division Four. So, one last time, I'd like to extend my congratulations to the Monroeville Lady Eagles playing over on the other side, on the other court, where Travis Berardi is on the call. But a great season for them, and we really, truly appreciate the support from those Monroeville Athletic Boosters. And those are your sponsors here tonight. So as I said, if you ever have a chance to see any of the people behind those companies or businesses, give them a huge shout-out. Give them a thank you. We would not be able to provide what we can to you live and free without them. So a big thank you. Saw another comment drop in. Blake Workman, go Flashes. Thanks for watching tonight, Blank. And Kathy Howarth, go Rachel Kocher. Thank you for watching, Kathy. And I want to apologize now. A lot of names that I'm unfamiliar with tonight, so full transparency. If I mispronunciate any names tonight, feel free. Let me know. It will not hurt my feelings, and I want to make sure I give your athlete the correct pronunciation they deserve. So if I butcher any names tonight, let me know. Would love to correct it before the night's over. Tough one there. Albert had to make a quick decision. Ball just falls right in front of the net, though. Holds Apple was awaiting on the other side. Ties things back up at five apiece. And we've been moving pretty quick tonight, so I don't think we've had a chance quite yet to check out our comprehensive Division Three team spotlight, so we will get to that here in just a moment. That's Division Two, though, able to pick up the point for the time being. But let's dive into that and show you what it would look like if all the teams represented here tonight from Division Three were combined into one record. That record would be 119 and 50, with a combined win percentage of 70.4. Coached tonight by Galleons Kathleen Davis. Some notable notes from their squad is the Tigers and Eagles on the same side. So Colonel Crawford and Galleon teaming up. They obviously met in the postseason this year as well. 
along with Huron and Willard also. So a couple of powerful programs uh, getting to pair up and play tonight. Lexington and Vermillion on the other side for Division Two. So a lot of combos like that. They do have the D2 District 6 Player of the Year, as I mentioned, and Jess Holzapple on the squad tonight, an assistant coached by Taylor Hybe of Colonel Crawford. As D2 looks to keep things alive, Maddie Bass alone sends it over, but Ritzhoff right there. So we kind of get into another one of those rallies that's been happening all night. Payne got to set it up. Nice job on the receive from Bassalone. Woo! And that one. What a sequence there for the Division II All-Stars. Let's take one more look here on our Copper Irons instant replay. Bodies hitting the floor. Luckily, no one getting hurt, though. That's the last thing anyone wants here in an all-star match. As Caitlin Callahan of Vermillion scores a big point tonight. Placed that one perfectly towards that back line. Notice no one was over there. That'll be a miss serve, though. And Division Three hops back on the scoreboard. It's 9-6. And I'm going to take a look and see what other player spotlights we have yet to take a look at tonight. And make sure we get to those. And next on the list, it's going to be Gracie Starkovich of Vermillion, the outside hitter. Honorable mention, D2 All-Ohioan. Senior season stats, 337 kills, 327 digs, 61 aces, SBC Lake Champions, District Champions, and District 6 Division II first team placer. What a year for Starkovich and the Vermilion Lady Sailors. Wanted to make sure I got her player spotlight in there and gave her the attention that her incredible year deserved. Albert sets it up to Manley, who gets a hold of that one. So they take an 11-7 lead. That one tried to ride the net and then just took a nice plummet right before the boundary line. Starkovic on the serve. Kept alive by Manley, set up by Albert, and then finished off by Caitlin Callahan from Vermillion. Great sequence there for D2. 12-7. So they pick up another quick point on the ace. See what other Division II spotlights we have remaining. Believe we have Kaylee Felder from Bellevue, an outside hitter. District 6, Division 2, first team finisher. Senior season stats, 290 kills, 21 aces, 7 blocks, and 241 digs. Career kills, 1,063 for Miss Felder on those Bellevue Lady Red. What a year for her. So shout out to Miss Felder on an incredible senior season. Division two jumps out to a 14-8 lead. A few more players will want a spotlight before wrapping it up from there. As Division two picks up the point, we'll take a look at our final player spotlight from the D2 All-Stars. And it's Matty Bassalone, the libero from Lexington. First team, all OCC. District 6, Division 2, second team. Her stats from this season, 18 aces, 401 digs, 65 assists, and 433 serve receptions. A phenomenal year for Maddie Bassalone. Great year for Lexington as well on the volleyball court. So shout out 
to Maddie and what Lady Lex was able to do this year. As Division Three making this one back into a little bit of a competition. Now, like I said, no official victor declared, but you know, a little bit of bragging rights. Division Three would like to be the winner of all three sets. And that's going to help right there as Emma Steiger of Winford picks up the point. Would have been fun there. That one was kept alive for a bit. That's going to be 15-12, excuse me, 14-12. Now 14-13. And we will take a look as well, finish off our remaining Division Three player spotlights. as they tie things up. We'll take a look at Colonel Crawford's Reagan Red Top District 6 Division 3 second team. 2022 season stats, 299 kills, 53 aces, second team all N10. Her team was the 2022 sectional champions and finished second in a loaded and competitive Northern 10 conference. So shout out to Reagan and those Colonel Crawford Lady Eagles on a spectacular season as Division 3. Jumps up to a 15-14 lead. And the lead will expand on the miss hit. 16-14, D3 looking to become the victors of all three All-Star sets here tonight. Manley keeps that one, sends it back into play. Now has the opportunity, tried to spike it down, but Trice was just there from Colonel Crawford, ready to receive. Mainly another opportunity, a little bit of a dink. Kept alive though, went for the block attempt at the net. Albert now sets it up. And we'll go again. Manley off the set from Albert. Everyone battling, jousting it out at the net, but D3 walks away with the point. Take one more look on our Copper Irons replay. Not sure who's winning the overall over on the D1, D4 side of things. Like I mentioned, we also have that going on. So if you got another device, toss that on. Travis Berardi on the call for the D1, D4 match. But let's take a look at another player here tonight for Division Three. Kylie Liebarker out of Margareta, the outside hitter. She was a District 6 Division Three first team finisher. Her season stats this year, 219 kills, 44 aces, 18 blocks, 265 digs, and 280 serve receptions. And she is committed to Ashland University to continue her basketball career. So congratulations to Kylie. I know she made that commitment a little bit ago, but phenomenal volleyball season, along with being a phenomenal basketball player as well. So best of luck to her this season during her senior year. As D3 picks up another point, makes it 19-16. Set back up, sent over, kept alive. Albert on the set over to Manley out of Perkins. Try to ride the net like she did earlier on the on the one you saw during set number two, but Holzapple out of Huron. Right place, right time, make it 2016. 
Just too much to handle over on the other side for Cameron Kaufman. When we can, we'll take a look at a f the final player spotlights we have for those out of Division Three. Also, if there's anyone in mind as our player of the game that you're thinking about, drop a comment and let me know who you think is deserving of our player of the game award tonight. Obviously, every girl out there on the court, player of the game worthy, but if anyone stood out to you tonight, drop a comment, let me know who you think should take the award. We'll take a quick look at Ella Payne out of Galleon. District 6, Division 3, first team, first team all MOAC, 2022 season stats, 992 assists, 31 aces, 262 digs. Her team was 2022 sectional champs and finished second place in the MOAC behind Highland. Phenomenal year for Ella Payne. Congratulations on what the Lady Tigers were able to do this season. Set point now for Division Three, looking to finish things off. Holes Apple tried to finish it off, and she will. As that'll wrap things up for this match, we'll shake hands. And we'll be back to talk to an MVP. Again, drop me a comment. I'll check it out during the commercial break. Find out who you would like to hear from as our MVP of the match. You've been watching live and free high school all-star volleyball right here on the OH Court. Stay here. Don't go anywhere. MVP interview coming up next. District 6 and third team All Ohio pick. Maddie Clark, a second team District 6 selection, and Abby Poss, third team All District 6. Huge congratulations to all of you, Lady Eagles. Monroeville Athletic Boosters are sponsoring T and Rich Dueling Pianos at Rockin' Horse Ranch in Sandusky, Ohio on November 19th. All tickets must be purchased before the event. No tickets will be available at the door. Find us on Facebook for more information on this event.
a freshman from Madison. Welcome back to Norwalk, Ohio, where both matches now finished up a senior for the Sandusky, evening here at the District 6 All-Star matchup between the All-Stars from Division 2, All-Stars Division 3, and then All-Stars Division 1, and All-Stars Division 4 played on the other match. So that's what went down here tonight at Norwalk High School. Over on my side, on my match, Division 3, technically winning, taking all three of the three sets that were played to 25. Now we're just handing out some awards. So that gives me an opportunity now to finish off the spotlights that we had. I believe we just had one more, and how could she be forgotten? Riley Ritzhoff from Colonel Crawford, the outside hitter. District 6, Division 3 first team, all N10 first team. District 6, Division 3 player of the year, runner up to Miss Holzapple, who we took a look at earlier. Her 2022 season stats, 345 kills, 410 digs, and 340 serve receptions. Those Lady Eagles were the 2022 sectional champions in second. And again, I say a loaded, and I mean loaded of talent, Northern 10 Conference. Um, the top, I don't even know, probably five teams could probably go win conference championships if they all weren't in the Northern 10, but phenomenal year for Riley and the Colonel Crawford Lady Eagles. That was the last spotlight to take a look at again. If you've been with me all night, my name is Hayden Gray. Just been kicking it with you, trying to give these girls a good night, a good presentation of their accolades and achievements. Um, still looking over on the Facebook side. Kathy Howarth, nice job, Rachel Kotcher. So proud of you. And Lisa Scott Hoover, so fun to watch the girls tonight. I forgot to give a shout out. Olivia Trike also, all four Lady Eagles did an awesome job. That's right, Lisa, they all four did. And you know what? I had to kind of do a double take too because if you looked out there, sometimes it just looked like you were seeing the Colonel Crawford Lady Eagles on the court at all times for them here tonight, as you mentioned. Thank you, Lisa, for watching. Appreciate your viewership out here this evening. As we continue to hand out awards, I will read off some of the awards handed out this year. I'll, I'll stay specific to Division Two and Three. The first team for Division Two, the Player of the Year: Maddie Stout out of Vermilion, Ava Brown out of Lexington, Gracie Starkovich of Vermilion. Kaylee Fidler, Felder of Bellevue, Marley Albert of Shelby, Emma Manley of Perkins, Delana Durst of Clyde, and Aliyah Wharton from Port Clinton. That was your Division II first team, District 6. Second team, Cameron Kaufman of Perkins, Bailey Fisher of Bellevue, Maddie Bassalone of Lexington, Caitlin Callahan of Vermilion, Lena Creed of Ontario, Reese Adkins of Oak Harbor, Claire Turner of Bellevue, and Mia Downing of Perkins. Third team, Division II, District 6, Rachel Kocher of Lexington, Mackenzie Martinez of Port Clinton, Madison Henkel of Shelby, Annie Weaver of Ontario, Jalen Underwood of Oak Harbor, Riley Satterfield of Perkins, Angelique Garcia from Vermilion, and Sage Ruffing from Clyde, an honorable mention all District 6 D2, Lila Crawl from Bellevue, Ava Newdom, Newdom of Lexington, Addison Seif of Port Clinton, Demi Hip of Shelby, Tatum Stover of Lexington, Lily Ball of Clyde, Taylor Bollinger of Port Clinton, and Caitlin Morrison of Clyde. Coaches of the Year in Division II for Heath Hamilton of Sandusky Perkins and Kara Kaufman of Vermillion. Now we'll read off the first, second, third, and honorable mention athletes from Division Three, District Six, first team player of the year, Jess Holes Apple of Huron. Riley Ritzhoff of Colonel Crawford, Ella Payne of Galleon, Tess Humphrey of Huron, Kelsey Likens of Willard, Kendall Camp of Huron, Kylie Leibacher of Margareta, and Emma Scott of Colonel Crawford. Second team, Mackenzie Hale from Huron, Reagan Ritzhoff, Colonel Crawford, Haley Young, Galleon, Emma Tyrell, Bucyrus, Libby Weisenberger, Western Reserve, Cassie Hammonds from Willard, 
Reese McGuire of Winford, and Karen Woodlarski of Edison. Third team, Division Three, All District Six, Olivia Saylor of Margareta, Cyanna Savansack from Willard, Madeline Scheiber of Galleon, Casey Brown of Huron, Emma Steiger of Winford, Olivia Trike of Colonel Crawford, Azura Waldock of Huron, and J Jamie Munns of Western Reserve. An honorable mention, Division Three, D Six District. Excuse me. Honorable mention, Division Three, All District Six. Mackenzie Schaefer of Willard, Jillian Capretta of Galleon, Emily Weaver of Crestview, Callie Quillen of Edison, Addie Stevens from Willard, Jordan Faga of Western Reserve, JL Keller of Margareta, Ashley Dyer of Galleon, and Valora Stowers of Upper Sandusky. Coaches of the Year, Don Wood of Huron, and Taylor Hybe of Colonel Crawford. So those are your Division II and Division III first, second, third, and honorable mention teams for District Six Volleyball as we continue to hand out those awards right now here live from Norwalk. Do you see Coach Kendra Snook of the Division IV state champion runner-up Monroeville Lady Eagles head coach over there. She is the orchestrator of this event for District 6, so want to give a huge shout out to her helping us get everything that we needed to prepare for the live stream tonight. And as Travis would say, it's not like she's been busy the past week, not at all. Um, so we appreciate all of her efforts that not only she gives us throughout the regular season, but um, just the effort she, she put on to, to make sure this event still happened um, and, and ran seamlessly. Got to say, um, a lot of these all-star events sometimes can be a little bit up in the air as far as how they'll go. This one's so well ran, and what a fun night we've had here from Norwalk. So a huge shout-out to Coach Kendra Snook from Monroeville as we continue to pass out some awards. Take a look at the final screen from our matchup anyway, if you were watching. Congratulations. The Division II All-Stars weren't able to pick up a set out of the three that they played. But you know what? In the wise words of Storm Blunchley, just hope everyone had fun. And I think they did. And that's what we were here to do, especially those Division III All-Stars who picked up the three sets. Doesn't hurt, but nonetheless, everyone having fun here tonight. So that's the final stat screen. Coming up this week, girls' high school basketball. Yes, you heard me right. Girls' high school basketball kicks off Friday, November 18th. Um, a lot of huge matchups around the area. Um, some some players that are involved here tonight, Margareta and Shelby. I know those girls will play on Friday night. Um, that'll be a huge one kicking off on Friday. Um, we will be at a game on Friday. I will show you what game we'll be at a little bit later towards the end of the stream, but it is time. Winter sports are here, so get ready for it. I mean, we've had some of that snow here the past few days, so getting right into the winter sports season, bracing ourselves for all the fun that is yet to come with winter. But you know what? We'll go ahead and show you now what matchup we're going to be at on Friday night down at Centerburg. Friday, November the 18th at 7.30, the Mount Vernon ladies will travel down to Centerburg to take on the Lady Trojans. Pre-game will kick off around 7.20 p.m. and it'll be streaming live and free on our main YouTube channel and our Facebook page. So we are super excited to kick off basketball season. Another one here on the OH Report, super excited to bring you a fresh new look to basketball this year, starting with the graphic you see on screen and just carrying over. Um, got some really awesome stuff we've been working on this year. Adam Thompson, um, one of our creative directors, has been putting together a wonderful product that we're excited to roll out this Friday and show to you folks. So I know not too many uh, KMAC fans up where, or where I'm at tonight, probably up here uh, in SBC country, but if you're watching tonight and you're a fan of high school hoops and want to tune in on Friday, go for it. We'd appreciate you watching, but excited to get the hoop season underway. Going to be covering a lot of teams and excited to see what's going to go down in local sports around the area this year. From Willard, a senior, Sayana Savansak. And from Margareta, a junior, Olivia Sayers. I'll let you listen to a little bit of what we have going on here in the awards ceremony. Moving on to the second team, from Edison, 
a junior, Karen Wolodarski. From Winford, a senior, Reese McGuire. From Willard, a senior, Cassie Hammonds. From Western Reserve, a senior, Libby Weisenberg. From Mew Cyrus, a junior, Emma Tyrell. From Galleon, a junior, Haley Young. From Colonel Crawford, a senior, Reagan Rittop. And from Hira, a senior, Mackenzie High. Moving on to first team honors. From Colonel Crawford, a senior, Emma Scott. From Margareta, a senior, Kylie Leibach. From Hira, a junior, Kendall Camp. From Willard, a sophomore, Kelsey Likens. From Hira, a junior, Tess Humphrey. From Galleon, a senior, Ella Payne. From Colonel Crawford, a senior, Riley Rittop. And your player of the year in Division Three, from Huron, a senior, Jess Olsen. Your Division Three Coaches of the Year, from Huron, Don Wood. And from Colonel Crawford, Taylor Heidi. Moving on to Division Four, we'll begin with honorable mention. From Lucas, a freshman, Maya Midkin. From Hopewell Loud, a sophomore, Sydney Bricker. From St. Mary Central Catholic, a senior, Ava Fuller. From Hopewell Loud, a senior, Taryn Hampton. From South Central, a senior, Lydia Chaffee. From St. Mary Central Catholic, a senior, Mazara Lynch. From St. Joseph Central Catholic, a freshman, Amari Harrelson. From Mansfield Christian, a junior, Kylie Jones. From Mansfield St. Peter's, a senior, Audrey Couch. From St. Joseph Central Catholic, a senior, Michaela Hahn. From St. Paul, a senior, Ella Weinkler. From New London, a freshman, Gracie Thomas. From Danbury, a sophomore, Macy Brown. From Seneca East, a senior, Riley Stanley. From Oldford, a senior, Kennedy Goody. Moving on to third team honors. From Crestline, a junior, Lillian Higgins. From Mohawk, a junior, Mia Miller. From St. Joseph Central Catholic, a senior, Taylor Owens. From Hopewell Loud, a junior, Isabel Bible Chief. From Calvert, a junior, Cecilia Paul. From St. Paul, 
a junior, Riley Rohrbacher. From Monroeville, a junior, Abby Pogues. From Buckeye Central, a sophomore, Barra McDougall. From Danbury, a junior, Leah Brown. From Seneca East, a sophomore, Jake Katie Alexander. From Cary, a junior, Kelsey Bursby. From Mohawk, a freshman, Elizabeth Klopp. <laughs> Moving on to second team honors. From Mansfield Christian, a junior, Reagan Stanbridge. From New Regal, a junior, Katie Dreyfus. From Hobo Loud, a junior, Kendall Alred. From Lakota, a sophomore, Riley King. From New London, a senior, Sasha Bowen. From South Central, a junior, Angelo Williams. From Old Fort, a junior, Audra Miller. From Monroeville, a senior, Maddie Clark. From Seneca East, a senior, Hillary Bogner. From St. Joseph Central Catholic, a junior, Katie Wolf. From Mohawk, a senior, Bailey Sheets. And from Calvert, a junior, Olivia Miller. <laughs> Moving on to first team honors. From St. Paul, a sophomore, Kristen Matlack. From Calvert, a junior, Cameron Shook. From Buckeye Central, a junior, Mia McDougall. From Monroeville, a senior, Lily White. From Old Fort, a senior, Olivia Jones. From Cary, a sophomore, Parker Baggert. From Seneca East, a senior, Maddie Bowes. From Calvert, a junior, Carolyn Lanasek. From Lucas, a senior, Shelby Grover. From Mohawk, a senior, Emily Klopp. From Calvert, a senior, Hannah Miller. And your Division Four Player of the Year from Monroeville, a senior, Maddie Daniel. <laughs> Congratulations to the Division Four Coaches of the Year from Calvert, Lori Rombach, and from Loha and Triple A, Aaron Cooper. Congratulations to everyone out there tonight and to all District 6 teams for playing great volleyball this fall. Numerous District 6 athletes will be receiving all Ohio awards this Sunday at Worcester High School at noon. We also have great representation of athletes playing in the state all-star match. Those athletes include from Division 1, Alexis Smith from Division Columbia. All right. Well, there you have it. There was the awards ceremony. We'll be taking one more quick break, and on the other side, we'll have our MVPs of the match. We'll do a quick interview and wrap things up here from Norwalk. 
Thank you for tuning in. Keep it right here, though. MVP interview coming right in on the other side of this break. Keep it right here. Where does greatness start? Here, in the classroom. On the diamond. In the pool. On the field. Where will your greatness take you? To better grades. To more friends. Yeah! Be great. Participate! <laughs> Congratulations and good luck at State Lady Eagles. The whole community is rooting for you. Bring home the hardware. Big congratulations to Maddie Daniel for being chosen District 6 Player of the Year. Also a first team All-Ohio selection. Another shout out to Lily White, a first team District 6 and third team All-Ohio pick. Maddie Clark, a second team District 6 selection. And Abby Poss, third team All-District 6. Huge congratulations to all of you, Lady Eagles. Monroeville Athletic Boosters are sponsoring T and Rich Dueling Pianos at Rockin' Horse Ranch in Sandusky, Ohio on November 19th. All tickets must be purchased before the event. No tickets will be available at the door. Find us on Facebook for more information on this event. Back now with our players of the match brought to you tonight by Sean Rittop, Edward Jones' agent. And I'm standing here with both Rittop after the match. 
Um, just go ahead and kind of walk me through what it was like to get to come to this, play with not only your sister, but a couple of your other teammates, and play with a, a ton of girls from around the area that are really stellar athletes. Western Reserve girl behind me. I was like, I feel like I know you guys now. It was just more fun than I even thought it was going to be, and I was really excited. So. Yeah, you know, I feel like sometimes with some of these all-star events, you don't, like, it's awkward. You just came off your season, very competitive, but it was really cool to see how well all of you guys kind of gel together and can still go out and have fun and play competitive volleyball. So what is one of your favorite memories from the season overall um, that carried into tonight? I feel like every practice and game was so much fun with my team this year. We all got super close. So I just tried to recreate that here. So I don't have one specific memory at all. The whole year was so fun. Yeah, there's a whole lot that goes into it. And, then, and finally, I don't know, maybe you would, this would be just as hard, but do you have a favorite memory or a favorite thing about getting to play with your sister? Oh. Is there some, what makes it special? We've taught each other so much. Um, I feel like I just feed off her energy and everything we do. And it's like having a personal coach on the court because I pay a lot of attention to what she does and she gives me a lot of feedback. So. All right, well, thank you. I'll have you pass it off to her now. <laughs> and I'll ask you some of the similar questions. Just talk to me about what was fun to you here tonight. Um, Kind of a cool environment, two matches going on at one time, a ton of talent out there. So what was the most fun part of this experience for you tonight? Um, it was really fun playing with like all amazing volleyball players. Like it seems like even though we have never played together before, we like knew how we how all of us played. So. Obviously, um, a great year for your team overall. You know, what's it kind of like after a season ends, though? Like, how do you kind of gradually walk away from something like that? Do you know, is there any club volleyball that either of you play in or are playing to play in or what goes on after a season ends? Yeah, so it took some time to get over the end of the season just because this season for us was so great and it's our last. But we both play club at Black Swamp and we had tryouts on Monday and we start in December. So right away. Yeah. And so obviously that's fun getting to still continue to play with your sister. What, what's the most entertaining thing about getting to play with people then other than just outside of Colonel Crawford then when you do get to go play in that environment? Is that kind of almost like an all-star environment all the time or is that just turn into another team for you? Yeah, it basically is. Cause like uh, club is so different. It's a different level of commitment and stuff. So I don't know, it's, um, it's really good. <laughs> And then I guess I should have asked both of you individually, anyone you want to give a special shout out to tonight? Of course, my dad, <laughs> since he can't be here. Uh, and my grandparents. Awesome. Do you echo the same? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, special shout out to your dad for being the sponsor tonight. Um, but you should know I didn't pick both of you. Both of your performance was worthy, even though your dad was a sponsor tonight. So amazing season for both of you. It's been so fun to watch you guys. And good luck um, coming up in your club season. Thank you. All right. We'll take one last final break, wrap things up here, right here on the OH Report. Participate. Where does greatness start? Here, in the classroom. On the diamond. In the pool. On the field. Where will your greatness take you? To better grades. To more friends. Yeah! Be great. Participate! <laughs> Congratulations and good luck at State Lady Eagles. The whole community is rooting for you. Bring home the hardware. Big congratulations to Maddie Daniel for being chosen District 6 Player of the Year. Also a first team All Ohio selection. Another shout out to Lily White, a first team District 6 and third team All Ohio pick. Maddie Clark, a second team District 6 selection and Abby Poss, third team All District 6. Huge congratulations to all of you, Lady Eagles.
Monroeville Athletic Boosters are sponsoring Tea and Rich Dueling Pianos at Rockin' Horse Ranch in Sandusky, Ohio on November 19th. All tickets must be purchased before the event. No tickets will be available at the door. Find us on Facebook for more information on this event. Welcome back one final time to Norwalk High School tonight. Again, your final score, the Division II All-Stars, zero. The Division III All-Stars taking all three sets tonight. Coming up this week, another reminder, girls' high school basketball starting Friday, November 18th. We'll be down for Mount Vernon at Centerburg. Pre-game will kick off around 720. That match up will start around 730. One last time, would like to thank our sponsors from this evening. The Copper Irons Best Value Axe Throwing located in Bucyrus. Book your reservation online today at thecopperirons.com. Thank you to them for being not one, not two, but three spot sponsored tonight on tonight's live stream. So thank you to the Copper Irons. Check them out. Check out the link to their website and Facebook page on the description of this post. Agent Sean Ritzhoff from Edward Jones and Edward Jones Financial Advisors serving Bucyrus, Ohio. Get the personal financial advice you need to achieve your goals with Sean Ritzhoff. And the Monroeville Athletic Boosters, thank you for sponsoring tonight. But that'll wrap things up here from Norwalk. Want to thank my camera operator, Keaton Cooper, doing a nice job tonight. Interesting angle for you, and he did an excellent job. So shout out to Keaton. Adam Thompson on audio and video design. The Copper Irons, as I just mentioned. Norovo Athletic Boosters. Agent Deshaun Ritzhop from Edward Jones. The Norwalk High School Athletic Department and head coach Kendra Snook for putting this whole thing together. You've been watching high school volleyball live and free right here on the OH Report, powered by BS Media, the future of local sports. So long, and we'll see you this Friday for girls' high school basketball.